What's up guys, No Nonsense Chris. Here's a No Nonsense tip for sellers. So your house is on the market, your realtor's negotiated an offer, you're happy with it. It's financing, so now the buyer has to do an appraisal to make sure the appraised value comes in at at least at your contract price. So what does that mean? If your contract price is 500,000, that appraisal needs to come in at $500,000. If it doesn't, it comes in short, the buyer may have an opportunity to negotiate a lower price point, or if you guys can't come to the meeting of the minds and they can't cover the difference, and you're not willing to lower your price, the deal could fall through. So the appraisal is a very important part of the real estate contract process, but many sellers and many realtors don't understand how important it is. So here's a tip. It's under contract now. The appraisers are gonna contact your listing realtor. They're gonna pick up the phone, answer it, and say, how can I help you? The appraisers are gonna to wanna to go ahead and schedule a time to come to your house because they have to take visuals of the exterior and interior and inspect the condition of the property. Most realtors out there right now say they're too busy to meet the appraiser since appraisers have access to our real estate boxes and what they'll just do is set a time frame up with you so you're not there and give the appraiser full access to your home. So they come through your home, they take visuals, they leave, and they assume they're gonna hit the value. Well, quite often, if that appraiser doesn't know any updates on your house, you can't assume that they're gonna know. They're gonna do research. If you have a brand new roof, but it doesn't look any different than a house next door that's roof 10 years old, that realtor cannot not assume that that appraiser is gonna know you have a new roof or a new AC or new flooring. Maybe the flooring looks new, but to the appraiser, it could be 10 years old. How do they know that? Here's what you need to do. You say, look, you're my listing realtor. You're making a percentage of the sales price. This is your job. I require you to do this. I want this in our listing agreement. You're gonna meet the appraiser on site. And before you even meet the appraiser, you're gonna get their email address. You're gonna send them a detailed email highlighting every single upgrading feature of that house to make sure that appraiser has a reference point. So if they have to make adjustments to give you a higher valuation, they have documentation that references the upgrades of your house versus other houses they've used to compare against yours. Furthermore, you're then gonna have that realtor give insight into how the market responded on your house. If you had multiple offers, that's very important for an appraiser to know because what does that do? It tells the appraiser the market has validated your contract price. It gives them a confidence level. They're gonna factor that into their appraisal. Then they're gonna come on site, meet your realtor. Your realtor's gonna build a good rapport with them, give them further insight and say to the appraiser, look, if you have any issues or you have any questions or you can't hit the value, feel free to reach out and if I can give you any other details, I will. Now they've built that rapport, they've done their job and done everything they possibly can to make sure your house appraises out. There's no guarantee it will, but at least they went the extra mile. You're paying these guys 3%, 4%, whatever the hell you're paying them. Make them earn their money. Make them do this to make sure you have the best shot to have your house appraised so it closes and you can move on. So good luck guys. Hope you enjoyed this tip. No nonsense, Chris. Have a good day.